Here is a problem all about relative velocity. So we have a boat that is moving with respect to the water, and uh, we have a jogger who is moving with respect to the boat. So how does the jogger move with respect to the water? Fortunately, this isn't as complicated as it might sound. It's actually a lot more intuitive than you might expect. If we have a boat, I'm going to draw a little diagram here. If we have a boat and it's moving with, with respect to the water, then all this means is that the, the boat, if, if the jogger was still, if the jogger was in place, then the jogger is moving with respect to the water at the same rate as the boat. But if the jogger is moving on the boat, then all that really is going to do is it's just going to add the two velocities together. They're going to add up. So the velocity of the jogger relative to the water um, is going to be, it's going to be an addition thing. So, so there are two different things that this problem's asking. Um, the first part is where the, where the jogger is running towards the front of the ship. So if the jogger is moving towards the front of the ship, then that means that uh, they are moving with the ship along the water. So their speed with respect to the water is going to be faster than if the, the boat wasn't moving, for example. So all you want to do in this case is just add the two velocities together. So 2 meters per second plus 8.5 meters per second, well that is equal to 10.5 meters per second. So the jogger is moving 10.5 meters per second in the direction that the boat is moving. For the opposite case, the jogger is moving towards the stern of the ship, which means that they're moving in the direction opposite to the direction that the boat's moving in. In this case, you still add them together, except one of them has to be negative, because the two velocities are no longer pointed in the same direction. So if we say that let's just say the boat is moving in a positive direction let's let's call this the positive axis the boat is moving in the positive direction whereas in this case if the jogger is moving in the back the jogger is moving in the negative direction so the negative x direction so if that's the case then if we just add these two velocities together as we would do now it's negative 2.0 meters per second because the jogger is moving in the negative direction plus a positive 8.5 meters per second since that's the direction that the boat's moving in the positive axis in the positive direction of the axis so we add these together and we get 6.5 meters per second in the direction uh, that the boat is moving so those are the two velocities here. Those are the two relative velocities for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you more. If you have a request for a future video you'd like me to make, just leave a comment in the description or, or a, a comment in the comment section. Alternatively, I have a Discord server linked in the description that you could join if you want to talk or if you want to post another problem that you'd like me to make a video on. But that is all for today. And I hope you have a lovely night. Bye-bye.